Hey guys, it's Tony Camera Dude here. Um, so I wanted to kind of just like come out a little bit um, with the way I feel. Um, I obviously I'm doing that in like every video, but uh, there's been some thoughts lately that I've been having. Um, some of them are probably unique to me, but it's with my with transitioning. Um, and one of those, the one that's personal, I think, I'm not sure how many other people have this, is that um, it's a psychosomatic symptom, wanting to be female. Because for a lot of my life, I have been told that I am a hypochondriac and I don't know if I am. I might be, I might not be, but it just stresses me out and I don't know what to do. Like, I'm worried that if I transition what if I want to go back? And there are some other personal things like in my relationships that are problems, but that's more of a later on thing with uh, SRS. Because in my relationship, my um, I have two partners, and both of them are fully accepting of this. One of them is gender fluid. And the other is, uh, hold on, my mind is blanking out. I'm trying to remember what I was just talking about. <laughs> this happens way too often. Um, these female to male. And um, he's currently in a much worse situation than I am. Um, and not just the dysphoria, but like her parental situation. Oh my god, I said her. Oh, we met, and he was a he was identifying as a girl before. So I am. I am terribly sorry about that. That I did not mean to do that. Um, I used to, when I was younger, I didn't really see gender, but I kind of did see some semblance of it. And when I was younger, I always wanted to be a girl, not, not, and and I think the excuse I made all the time was that I wanted to know what I was like. To be one, and um, I think I've always had anxiety. I think that's not going to change, no matter what I do. I'm probably going to be depressed too. But when I when I was younger, I whenever I wished on a uh, one of those uh, what do you call it dandelions. Um, I don't know why I couldn't remember that. It's probably because I haven't gotten any sleep at all, and it's nine in the morning. Yeah. But uh, the excuse that I made. What was I talking about? My memory is. Crazy. I don't know what's going on. It's worse than it was before. It it was bad before too. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I used to work at Hot Topic, and I loved that place so much, but I was a temp, or not a temp, I w it was seasonal, and they didn't have any hours that they could give to any of the seasonal positions, which really sucked. Also, I really love this, like, fade into orange here, like, red, like, this is amazing. 
like I love my natural hair color here. I just love um, the natural hair color. Um, but this looks so nice with this. Like it grew out and had a little bit of it here, like a little bit here. But uh, all right, I'm getting so distracted. Um, and I don't, I don't really edit videos either, so. And I am sorry about that. I know how to do it. It's just, it feels like a chore. But if uh, somebody wants me to, I'll attempt it again. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know what I was talking about, by the way. So, I am so sorry about that. I keep getting sidetracked, and I keep forgetting what I was saying, like, while I'm in the middle of saying it, and it's just like, it's been like this for years, but it's like so much worse now, and it's crazy, and I should have put lipstick on. My lips are a little brighter. I like that. Yeah, that was weird. Um, so, I was talking about my struggles with transitioning and doubting myself. Yeah, um, so I've been doubting myself a lot, whether I'm really transgender, but it's like, it feels obvious because I feel more comfortable wearing a bra, which I should be doing right now, but I'm not gonna just leave the frames for a while just to put on a bra, but uh, I do have some breasts. These are natural, no hormones, and I feel kind of blessed, but at the same time, it's because of this. Because of my chubbiness. I guess my arms aren't as bad. Yeah, I'm chubby. It, it goes to my face and my stomach. It doesn't even go to the sides of my stomach. It just goes to the front. It only just like bulge out from the front. Like, yeah. And then a little bit here. And then in my face. I have, I get a tiny bit in my fingers. Oh, my fingers used to be so thin. I remember the videos that I did with the magic videos and they were like that, I think. They were just so thin is crazy and uh <laughs> so one of the things that's been bugging me is the tony gamer dude um like a uh, channel name tony gamer d tony gamer dude um the aliases that i go by and uh, there's a special reason why i use those though those tags and it's because of an old friend that I had that unfortunately, um, with my, um, terrible ex, no, she's not terrible, we, we were toxic together, and I kind of was a jerk to one of my friends, and then at the time I didn't see it as being a jerk, it just... It wasn't, I mean, I did, but I was hoping that everything would be okay with them, but yeah, it wasn't a great time. It was emotional. It was an emotional thing. It wasn't, I didn't do anything physical because, well, I wouldn't want to, and she's in Canada, so I couldn't even even if I wanted to, um, but I really miss some of my old friends, and I, I'll sometimes just remember the old days when I was with all my friends, and well, they were all girls, and I felt like I fit in more, and I just fall out, like, 
just out of nowhere it's like a a flashback like a light bulb type of thing it's like suddenly i have all i have memories and then i'm crying and thinking i miss all my friends i miss the friends that i didn't mean to burn bridges with the people that i cared for and loved dearly including the one who uh, saw my original username and was like and it, it was tony gd um and she asked if that stand of stood or stood for Tony Gamer Dude. And uh it didn't, but I was like, that's a great idea. And I just adapted that and so even though I've been conflicted about it, I just it just having those memories instead of holding them like having little pieces of the memory of the good times I had with that person instead of holding it all back suppressing it and letting it burst out I'd rather have those good memories than burst out crying every month or so because of me missing old friends and there's another thing that I would totally do, which I think I'm going to start doing again, is um, one of my really good friends, uh, she had no way to contact, she didn't have a cell phone, because her parents didn't let her, and we were on Flipnote Hatena, um, which was on the Nintendo DSi systems, um, and it's like a, a Flipnote, like, you draw individual frames, you can copy frames and adjust them, and you had um, black, white, and either red or blue. You could do red, white, blue, I believe. No, you had to choose between red and blue. Um, I'm pretty sure. No, no, yeah, yeah, you, I think you had to. Yeah, I'm thinking about the, uh, flip note 3D thing. They had couple more color options but you had to choose between red and blue and all that anyway um she taught me how to draw like a cat that i like really adored and it was like an amazing drawing and it was just so cool and i wanted to know how to draw it and she showed me how and i just i started drawing it like and i and i even created my own thing and it was wolves and even though it wasn't great i still loved doing it and showing my friends and it was amazing and just sometimes I miss those times and actually a lot of the time I miss those times I'm in a good relationship I'm with good people right now but I miss my old friends so much because of this one person who influenced me to burn so many bridges And I did some of my own too. Not all of it was influenced. I. Oof, sorry. I was in. Still kind of am an insecure person. But I was much worse when I was younger. I had so many problems with. With separation. Like. I know this is like a crazy person thing, but I want to talk about it. I, I would text somebody and honestly I was fine with if they didn't text back. This is actually after I was in a relationship with uh, that one person. But uh, after that one relationship, I just started getting worried every time somebody didn't text back after... Um, approximately half an hour um, or I'd ask people to tell me when they're going just so I have a little bit more you know I, I feel more I feel more okay knowing that they aren't hurt or something and that was how I was when I was 
younger and sometimes I still have small moments where I'm like that, but I'll come to my senses a lot quicker than when I was younger, which it did, I didn't come to my senses a lot. I was clingy. I was one of the clingiest, um, I would say girlfriend, but a boyfriend, I guess, at the time. And I kind of, sometimes I hurt people because of it, accidentally, not purposely. And with the one friend, I, I got so hurt, I got this alter ego that is completely emotionless and it wasn't completely her fault. It wasn't her fault. She had multiple personality disorder and there was this one that was very abusive and emotionless and didn't care about me at all and would literally say stuff that I don't know. I don't know what exactly they would say, but it just, it hurt. And I tried to get through and make her happy and all of her other personalities because I don't mind multiple personality disorder. But at one point I just got so hurt that I had this emotionless personality. And it, not a personality, sorry. I had an emotionless died like I lost all of my emotions for myself for anybody around me for her and I just I don't know it was like at that time I felt like I wouldn't care if I or it wouldn't matter if I had hurt myself or killed myself or hurt somebody else But I, I, it was, I was still a pacifist, so I guess I did still care. I didn't want to ever use violence, and I didn't even want to think about it as a last resort at all. And I don't think about it as a last resort. But at the time, it was a difficult time. But anyway, let's go back on topic now that I kind of remember. Troubles about transitioning and doubting myself and holding myself down because of things that I was told when I was younger. Um, I'm surprised I remember that, like, even that far. But, uh, I was told I was a hypochondriac. Because, I mean, I was, still kind of am. I'm on sertraline, sertraline. Um, a hundred milligrams, and I tried out one twenty five and i the first time I tried it, I don't think it was directly correlated, but I felt extremely suicidal, like I was worried I would actually attempt suicide, and then the next time I tried it, I tried it for even longer, and I felt a little bit better. There wasn't much of a difference though. But, uh, I'm still insecure about myself, and what if I change my mind, and what if this is just a phase, even though I felt this for so long, I doubt myself, and sometimes I'll just feel like this, that I'm not, you know, I'm not meant to be. Then I watch videos of both sides of. I like to watch videos and read posts and things of every side as an argument. What I do is when I'm looking, when I look into, um, for example, the whole gender like is I try to see both sides I try to see, 
find rational thinkers on both sides, which honestly on both sides there's not there's not much rational thinking going on in fact, I'd say there were some more people who are um generally leaning toward the left that are more closed minded about the right. And generally right-leaning people but they won't listen to them they'll block them on Facebook they'll um, block everything out but people who are on the right side while they do that too there are more people who will argue and while that's not a great thing arguing can open up people another world but if you block everyone out you're not going to see their side you're not going to be able to help them see what the truth is no matter what side it is the way i see it is there are truths to this world but there are sides to everything for people who say there are only two genders that's how they were raised that's how they were raised it isn't necessarily their fault and sometimes they'll bring up the whole gender thing on governments and how they they would have to be like male female non-binary um all these things while there's infinite there's an infinite spectrum i think there is an infinite spectrum but why do we need the whole gender thing in government why do we need to know? Can there be a section that says gender and a face and you write it out? That's a solution. If you think that all genders, uh, I have electric tape on me, I don't know why I'm doing that. But uh, if you think that there should be fill that government, government stuff with that on it, and I will take arguments for why we need to have genders on government stuff because i haven't looked into this i just know that it with my current knowledge it just seems like a statistical thing that's pretty much it like how many people of this gender are voting like i don't think we need that kind of like the whole race thing being like what race are you? Are you black, white, Hispanic, Latino, um, Pacific Islander? A whole bunch of different things as well. There's a bunch. Asian. Some of those just cover way too many people. Like Latin. Like Latin types. Um, Hispanic, Latino. Latino. Not Latin types. Latino. Um, they cover a huge variety of different people. And it just doesn't honestly work. There's no reason for it other than a statistic. Same with genders. Yeah, sex does, a play, does play a part, and they should be able to know whether you've been through SRS, x-ray assignment surgery, or any surgeries that it could in the future affect how other surgeries go or other operations go like being on hormones or things like that just like with normal medicine you have to tell your doctor like like when you're going into an emergency room they are like what, do you take medications what are they they list you list them you list the milligrams or they look into your file if they can and they find that out but uh there are obvious things that we should keep around like me what medicine are you taking what sex you were at birth like whether you were born with an x and a y chromosome or an x and an x or any other combination like xxy um things like that xxy down syndrome which can affect health things, just like being an XY and XX, XX being um, female uh, and XY being male. 
Um, uh, genders are a completely different thing. There are other cultures that have multiple genders, and I'm sure, I, I'm not absolutely sure, but there are others with a gender spectrum. I mean, there's one here now in America and Great Britain, um, like UK, you know what I mean. Um, Canada, uh, France, Italy, things like that. There are people who believe that, and that the, they themselves are a society. We shouldn't walk them out because we think differently. I don't think differently from that, but people who do shouldn't block people out because they think differently. It's not fair. But, uh, wow. I am going on a tangent after a tangent after tangent after tangent after tangent after tangent. Just like, I'm trying to make a square like this. Yeah, that, that didn't work out, but like, I'm trying to make a square like this. But what I'm doing is like, let's say this is where I'm starting to make the square. I'm going like this. And I start going like this, and uh, this, and um, then I'll legitimately tangent, like that. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I really need to work on that. Oh my god, there's hair on my hand. There's hair on my arms. Uh, I have a wide neck, and it sucks. I've always had a wide neck, as far as I remember. Let's see if I can... Yeah, not much difference. But, uh... I've been feeling uncomfortable with coming out. Because I have doubts. That I know are not viable doubts. I mean they are, but I know that I am saying I do. I know that I am as a gender a female. My sex is male. That's something I can't really change can't change my chromosomes. I mean, it's not possible yet. It might be a possibility in the future. But, uh, it sounds like a dangerous procedure, though. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I needed to get this out. And a whole bunch of other things that I got out in this video. I'm trying to get in the frame with both my hands. Dog out there, Harry. Uh, get him out of frame. <laughs> I'm just, I'm joking around a little bit, but I kind of am. And I don't like it, but I don't like shaving because it just double like this. But this just feels more important to me because mm. I look really like a guy when I have a beard. And there, there's another thing, is that I've been told that I've been blessed with having a red beard and dirty blonde hair. And part of me is like, why would you want to get rid of that? But This doesn't feel comfortable with the beard. At one point, I tried to grow my beard because I didn't. I thought it would make me feel better, more important, but it didn't. I grew it up to like this long, it's a little longer on these parts because facial hair, but yeah. 
things to feel like I was a lot more comfortable with um, being how I was born, but now I realize that I have never really been. I want to understand people. I want to understand how what people are going through. I always have. That's why I like to see sides. Because everyone has a story. Never ignore somebody. Never block somebody out of your life because they have a different story. And it's sad to see when people do. I mean, if somebody is being a very toxic person, I can understand. But they need people to be there for them. They need friends. They need help. And the worst thing to do is to get people that are too similar minded together. Because when you do that, there, it starts to get more radical, like a more radical approach to everything. Like, like if too many people who are oppressed get together, they could end up being the oppressors. And it has happened in history. We need to work together. We don't need to separate each other. We find commonalities between us. All of us. Not just a commonality between a specific group of people. Stick to that group of people. You try to find commonalities with everyone. But yeah, that, that was random. But... If you're sticking around this long, why? Why? I don't understand. If if you have gone through it this far and you are not my partner, sorry. Please leave in the description. If you are my partner, go ahead. Leave it in the description. I'm, I'm talking to one very specific person. Um, <laughs> you can, if you want. Love you. <laughs> but, uh, if you made it this far, tell me why in the comments section, if you want. You really don't have to. <laughs> But, uh, I love you all. See you in another video. Adios, people.